Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm assuming that you guys are going to be watching me in the morning. You could be watching this on replay. It could be any time. But I'm coming at you live early this morning for um, for a catch up with you all, really, because um, I wasn't live on Tuesday. And with everything that is going on in the world right now, I thought that I needed to come on and um, have a chat with you all. So for anybody that seen my status yesterday, I'm now in self-isolation. I am not feeling too good. I don't think I've got coronavirus, but I don't know. So um, <laughs> better be safe than sorry, right? That's the way that I'm thinking. So I'm feeling okay. I've got um, a bit of a wheezy chest. My chest hurts, I'm a bit breathless. Um, but I'm managing and in the grand scheme of things, I am doing pretty well. Um, so that was just a catch up. So you guys know that I am here. I am well. I am not bed bound. Um, I am just feeling a little bit unwell. And the thing is, as well, we have had the craziest, craziest time at MIBA HQ in the last few weeks. So just to give you an all like a bit of a, a rundown of what's been going on. We've had two retreats. We had the MIBA Awards, Leona was here um, doing tons and tons and tons of networking events. So the last few weeks has been absolutely crazy for both of us. Um, and to be honest, I'm probably just run down. Um, lots of people have said that, you know, make sure I'm taking vitamins because I'm probably just really run down, which would not surprise me at all. But like I say, to be on the safe side, I'm going to be indoors um, for the foreseeable future. And I know that so many of you are going to be in the same situation. So I thought as soon as my body clock had woken me anyway, the boys are at their dad's. So that's really nice and helpful for me right now. Their dad has um, said that he's going to keep them until I'm feeling better. So the kids are all safe. Um, so homeschooling hasn't actually started for me yet. Um, so I have a little bit of a, a breather ahead of you guys um, that have your kids at home already. I'm um, also my PC broke. So you guys that are watching me over here on Facebook or Instagram, you will notice I'm coming at you from a weird angle. I am not in my usual corner um, of the office because I broke my PC as well. So it's been absolutely um, a crazy, crazy couple of months. And with everything else that's been going on, I know like we've gone from the point of we don't want to talk about Corona to we have to talk about Corona to now, oh my God, like life as we know it is changing. And so that's why um, another reason that I wanted to come on and talk to everyone, because um, extraordinary changes require extraordinary action. And this is where, um, you know, this is where it comes down to you. So there's lots of things going on in the outside world, but you still have control over a great deal of things. And those are the things that you need to be focusing on. Bear with me because my breathing is really struggling. <clears throat> so I just wanted to say already how proud I am of our community. Um, words can't tell you how proud I am. Um, you know, in times like this, when there's people out there buying the last bit of toilet roll um, and fighting each other over bottled water, it's been incredible to see the way that our community is pulled together. And um, the like, there's so many ways that we're trying to help you right now. So um, I'm going to run through a few of the things. Um, I've got a whole list of things and different ways that we're helping you. And um, I'm going to give you some tips. We're going to be talking about my five tips for survival, for business and in your personal life as well. And we've got loads of resources that I'm going to be sharing with you that are hopefully going to get you through this time. So if you're watching this and you can share on, on Instagram, you can share this directly to someone's inbox. You guys over here on Facebook, you can share it into your local groups because um, right from when this started we wanted to support you through this um and you know there's only so much we can do but it's about you know changing what we do to provide you with what you need so that's what we've been doing here at MIBA HQ so first and foremost we have created 
the MIBA survival guide. So this was an idea that started less than a week ago. Um, and within the space of about four days, we managed to put together a survival kit that helps you with everything that you will be going through right now. So it talks to you about financial planning. It talks to you about um, cooking on a budget. It talks to you about um, residual income. It like helps you with stuff to do with the kids if the kids are off school. Um, it literally covers everything, stress and anxiety. Um, so we've, we've covered every single base and this is a free resource, okay? Free, cost you nothing you can go and download it on our website, which is www.mumsinbusinessassociation.com. Um, I'm sure someone will drop the link on Instagram. It's the link in bio. Um, you guys over on Facebook, I'm sure somebody will be able to drop it into the link. Um, I've not been checking the comments, so good morning um, to anyone who is watching. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. So first and foremost, we have the survival kit, which is free. You can share it out as well. So if you have a group of your own, a community, um, it was downloaded over a thousand times in the first 48 hours, which means that like, you know, over a thousand women have benefited already. And we're like, I don't know, about four or five days in now. So that's just one of the things that we, um, just one of the things that we are helping um, to put together to support you guys. The next thing, which I am so, so incredibly proud of, is the fact that not only are we the fastest growing network for women in the world, we are currently the only huge networking company that have now facilitated online networking. So every single one of our networking events across the world are now happening online okay so if you are in a panic and you know you've seen the news last night and all the bars and everything is being shut down um, we wanted to give you the opportunity to still connect to be able to grow your business share your worries and concerns with people who are going through the same thing and so now all of our networking events are online you have an online um, get together like a meeting we still have a guest speaker you will have time to um, talk about your business, to talk about yourself, and then connect and network with other women as well. Um, this would not have been possible without our incredible, incredible, incredible team. Um, everything that we do here at MIBA is thanks to the team that we have behind us, who are, you know, going through the same things um, that all you guys are. You know, they've got their own stresses, but they're still busting their balls behind the scenes. To make sure that you know we are giving you the best that we possibly can um, not only that but if you book your tickets um, for March and April I think it is or April and May um, you will also get to have a free private training with me and Leona so Leona is doing one in April it's a three-day challenge and I will be doing one in May so not only do you get to go and network but also in that price you also get an exclusive training um, with me and Leona as well. So that is another thing that I'm super proud of that we are enabling you to all still be able to go and connect. You can find details of all of our networking events online. Bear with me a sec. My throat's a bit sore. So we have the online networking events. So we have the survival kit, we have the online networking events. We have also extended the Instagram back to basics training. So if you are a part of that training and the last few weeks have been crazy and you just haven't had a chance to finish it, we have, um, we have extended the opening of that for another two weeks. So if you're a part of that, um, then you have an extra two weeks to do that. Don't forget that you have your local groups for support, okay? Here in like the main member group, we have 54, nearly 55 thousand members but each of our networking areas have their own communities as many of you will know so reach out in this time and speak to your local coordinators they are there to support you okay so make sure that you are using those communities um everyone's in the same boat it feels really good um to talk to people who are going through the same things as you are so make sure that you are using your local groups for support as well we are also doing follow and promo threads every single day. So whereas we would usually just have it on a Friday, 
um, the Follow Friday for Instagram, Follow Friday for Facebook. We now in the main Facebook group will be having a follow or a business thread every single day to help you ladies connect with as many people as you can. So make sure that you're keeping an eye out for those. We will be having specific ones for specific social media platforms. Um, over the next few weeks, they will be coming out on a daily basis, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, TikTok, you know, you name it, we're going to be trying to support you and raise your visibility. Also, for anybody that hasn't been over and checked out my Instagram stories this morning, um, I stole a bloody brilliant idea from Nipper Threads. So shout out to Nipper Threads. Um, what we are doing is increasing engagement and shouting out to different businesses, okay? So if you go over to my Instagram stories, you will see there is a post there that says, if you would like me to shout out your business, reply with a, like a heart face emoji and I will pick a picture from your feed and I will share it into my stories so that it gets seen by my audience as well. What a brilliant idea um, and love to support. <coughs> love to support you ladies um, on Instagram as we do on Facebook. So head on over to my stories. I will give you a shout out. There's also a funny little feed going on um, where you can tell me what your favorite lockdown essential is. Um, I stole this one from my good friend, Leon Woodstock. His responses are crazy. Um, I'm thinking you ladies may be a little bit tamer than his audience because his responses have just had me dying. So we will be doing that as well. And anybody that has any value posts. So for me, I want it to be about how people can add value to others. If you have a post, so something that's talking about kids activities that they can do at home, something to do with, you know, being more productive, tag me in your posts on Instagram and I will be sharing them into my main feed as well, because we want to be supporting as many women as we possibly can with as much free content as we possibly can. So like I mentioned at the beginning, I am going to give you a few of my top tips for surviving this crazy, crazy time, because I know that, you know, some people are very strategic and, you know, chilled and they're like, yeah, we're getting on with it. But there's lots of people who are panicking right now for lots and lots of different reasons, which I totally understand. Sorry. <laughs> So my top tips for survival. Now I have got like I've got a whole list of things wrote down because my brain is like mush right now and I didn't want to forget. So hopefully I've remembered everything I need to tell you. So first of all, my first top tip, these are for personal, okay? In your personal life. Top tip number one is to make sure that you plan, but make sure that you remain flexible as well okay so when I say plan I mean like plan some time for you to do stuff in the business plan some time for you to do stuff with the kids plan some time for you to just do nothing okay but be flexible with that we all know that like if you've got little ones they sleep at different times so you might schedule in an hour to do some work thinking they're going to have a nap and they don't so be flexible but having a plan will will calm your mind down so much and I tend to do this at night time so I write down the day before what I've got to do the next day. And it just means that I wake up and I know, right, I've got to do this. I've got to do this and prioritize like things are going to be crazy right now. Everyone is going to have their kids at home. Well, the majority of people are going to have their kids at home. So things are going to be different. Your routine is going to be different. But having that sense of normality and a sense of routine is going to help you. OK, Get up early if you need to. If your kids are like, you know, at that age where you need to be watching them all the time, get up a little bit earlier before they get up, even if it's just 15 minutes to gather your thoughts and, you know, have a, have five minutes before chaos ensues, because I know that is what happens with me. Tip number two is try and prep your meals ahead of time. OK, and especially at night time, if you can do it when the kids are in bed, prepped, ready for the next day, that's going to free up some time for you to be spending with them or for you to be catching up on work or whatever it may be you want to be catching up on. Um, and things like freezing things, okay? So you can like bulk make, my favorites are like spaghetti bolognese, um, shepherd's pie, those sort of things. You can bulk make cheese and potato pie for the veggies out there. Cheese and potato pie is one of my faves. Um, but you can bulk make these up, okay? And then you can freeze them. And it means that like you've got a quick dinner straight out of the freezer, you know that it's homemade. Um, so yeah, meal planning and prepping is crucial. Tip number two. 
Tip number three. Now, this is a difficult one. I know this because I find it really hard. Ask for help. OK, ask for help. So now while I'm on lockdown, I'm not going to be able to get Mother's Day cards out. I didn't realize I was starting to feel poorly until yesterday, at which point it was too late to send them through Funky Pigeon or Moonpig or lots of other card retailers. Um, it was too late. So I've had to ask for help. So either Chris is going to have to go take my Mother's Day cards or my brother's going to have to take them for me. Um, it's difficult for me to ask for help. I'm a little bit, um, you know, like to stand on my own two feet. But now is the time to ask for help because I know that I'm here for anybody that needs to talk to me or if I can help you. I'm on lockdown now, so I can't bring you shopping. But if I could, I would have done. So, you know, I would want people to reach out to me. So, you know, ask for help. People are there. People want to support you. I'm blown away by the way that people are supporting each other. So keep doing that. Number four, try and write a gratitude journal. Now, you don't have to write loads and loads, but literally just write three things that you are grateful for, okay? Think about the fact that you've maybe had extra time with the kids. This is something that I miss loads because the kids go to their dads at weekends. So it means that like our time used to be weekends. So we got to go do stuff, cinema, bowling, like park, all of these things. When they started going to their dads like more regularly, all of that stopped. So now as much as I'm like scared shitless about having them at home with me for the foreseeable future, I'm also quite excited about the fact that we're going to get to do stuff together. And I know right now the cinemas and stuff are closed, but that's not going to be forever. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to get to do stuff with my kids. Um, I was just saying we've got some canvases that we're going to like do handprints on. And, you know, like we're going to look back at that and think, remember when we did those handprints? That was when we were locked down. This is going to be huge. And this is another thing, like, remember the way that you're talking about COVID-19, your kids are listening. Like, I think my kids are quite chilled out about it because I'm quite chilled out about it and I've not created panic in them. So just remember the way that you're talking about it is also going to impact on your kids. Tip number five is to make sure that you are practicing self-care and rewarding yourself for getting through, even if it's an hour. If you're having a meltdown and you're thinking, oh my God, I need to lock myself in the toilet for five, go and do it, okay? We're all, we all have different ways of coping reward yourself, take some time for self-care, which again, I find really difficult. I want to be like doing things all the time, but I know that it's dead important for my health. Like today, yesterday, I smashed through loads of work because I knew that I was starting to feel a bit ropey. So I was like thinking if I do have to stay in bed for a couple of days, I want to get ahead of the game. So today I'm going to practice some self-care. I'm going to finish my live um, and I'm going to probably go and watch a bit of Netflix with a face mask on because my skin is dry my lips feel like they're going to like split open at any point yeah and I'm feeling a bit rough as I am looking a bit rough but this is what I'm talking about like we are here together I can imagine there's plenty of other mums right now who are thinking you know I feel like dog shit and I can't do this well I'm telling you you can okay that's why I'm showing up in my dressing gown because I felt the need to come connect with you all I haven't been here this week on my Instagram live and I wanted to say to you all we're in it together, okay? We're in this together. Share some funky selfies of where you're working from and how you look, because I know one bonus is if I don't have to go on the school run, I get to stay in my pajamas a lot, which is like I'm onto a winner there. So there's my five top tips for survival in your personal life, okay? So that's plan, but be flexible. Meal prep, try and do bulk like batches of food and freeze if you can. Ask for help. Write a gratitude journal because these are the things that you need to be thinking about. You know, even the simple things. We're not talking about huge things. It's just the simple things. And that will, again, just remind you that, you know, there's worse people in worse situations and we have a lot to be thankful for right now. Tip number five is self-care. So five tips for your business now, okay? Get a pen and paper. So, I should have another sip of my water. Okay, so tip number one, don't panic, okay? When you panic, your brain is going into overload, okay? Write things down. If you are starting to worry about things, write them down, work through them one at a time, okay? If you brain dump, it gets it out of your head and onto paper. This is why journaling is such a brilliant idea. So don't panic. Whatever it is that you're worrying about in your business, 
write it down and work through them one step at a time, okay? And don't forget, refer to the survival kit that we've got because there's like loads and loads and loads of advice in there, amazing, amazing advice in there. Tip number two is to think outside the box. So right now, if your business is being impacted, you need to be thinking outside the box, okay? So straight away yesterday, once there was the breaking news report that all pubs and stuff were being shot, the next thing I seen on Twitter was pub in a box. And basically the pub were delivering um, a pub in a box. So you had beer, you had crisps, you had nuts, you had a beer mat, you had pork scratchings, as if you were at the pub. Brilliant, brilliant idea. And it's about staying ahead, okay? Thinking about, well, you know, you were creating a great product and service at the time. Everything was great until this horrid flipping virus entered the world, you know? So think about how you can change that product or service up and you know help even more people right now and it's about changing things like we did at the the networking event you know we knew that it was coming we knew the uk would end up on lockdown so we thought ahead and thought what can we do to make that happen okay look at look for what like help you can provide in this time so whether that means going online so can you offer trainings to people online can you record videos that you can give to people where they can learn something can you provide an ebook or a pdf there's lots of different ways without you having to be person to person there's lots of different ways so even if you're thinking a totally different skill set you know many of us will have different skill sets for example i was a wedding photographer and now i'm co-founder of mums in business association those two skills cross so i can use my photography you know i don't very often but i have that skill there do you know, I've worked in teaching, so I know how to lesson plan and I know how to look for specific needs and focus on outcomes. So, you know, think about the skills that you already have that are transferable that you can then use now in this situation whilst things are quiet within your other business. Tip number three is to use your time productively. So if you if you are there making a physical product and sales are slow, so you're not making as many of that product use your time productively go and listen to a podcast read a book take some time out go and look for i don't know inspiration have a brainstorming session rather than you know sitting there feeling sorry for yourself like oh my god what am i going to do with my time there's tons of things that you can do with your time so use the time that you're not using for your usual tasks productively tip number four is to stay up to date with the news okay i hate the news i don't watch the news I don't read newspapers. Um, I only listen to radio stations that only have snippets of the news because it depresses me. It makes me sad. And, you know, I'd rather be ignorant to all the shit that's going on in the world. Right now, I don't have that opportunity. I don't have that luxury to be able to ignore it because I need to know what's going on because it's having a huge impact on our business. But what I will say is stay up to date because you will see what help is available to you. So yesterday, there were lots of different things that the government announced that are going to help you within your business. So whether this um, they're offering to support people who are employed with 80% of their wage so that um, they're not being laid off. They are helping small businesses with grants and loans and different things like that. They're having tax holidays. Um, if you have um, if this impacts on your mortgage, there's mortgage holidays that you can have. So stay up to date. We will be helping you as much as we can in MIBA to, you know, to give you this information. But by staying up to date, you will know knowledge is power. You need to know if you know these things, you can then go and apply for them. Tip number five, tough times don't last. Tough people do. OK, we're in this together. We, I can't like stress that enough. We are all in this together. And the best thing that we can do is follow the guidelines of the government, of the health organizations, stay positive, do what we can to help each other and stay connected. You know, like in the wars, they didn't have the internet. They didn't have like FaceTime. I can't begin to imagine what it must have been like for people to, to be indoors, you know, like bombs going off indoors and you literally have no way to communicate with other people like they got through this and we're going to get through it as well only we have the luxury of facetime and netflix i seen another really funny meme the other day um that said something about you know back in the olden days they didn't they didn't have netflix all we're asking you to do is sit and chill and binge on netflix for two weeks 
Um, so yeah, let's like keep things in perspective. I know it's a really tough, 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 scary time. There's so many people, but you know, we're there, your local groups are there, the main member community is there. All of the networking events are still going ahead online. The perfect opportunity for you to be connecting with other women in business, okay? So I'm man I've managed 25 minutes. I've just realized I've managed 25 minutes and I am still breathing and talking. So I feel that I well deserve um, a little bit of a break. I'm going to go and um, rest myself for a little bit. Um, thank you to everybody who has already sent me so many lovely messages. Like you can see, I'm alive and kicking. I'm just feeling um, a little bit ropey right now. But I will be back to my normal self. I'm drinking lots of water. I've got paracetamol. I've got bee pollen. Um, so I am taking um, taking everything from everyone, all the love, all the support, all the positivity. Um, and I just want to say how proud I am of every single one of you. Reach out, connect with each other, continue supporting each other because this is what MIBA is really, really about. It's about you guys and the amazing community that you are a part of. So um, from both me and Leona, thank you to everyone who has supported us in this insane time. Um, yeah. And I will see you soon. Don't forget, go and download the survival kit. Um, yeah, head on over to my stories. I'll give you a little shout out. But most of all, stay calm, show lots of love to each other. And, um, and I will see you probably, hopefully, on Tuesday Night Live over on my personal Instagram, sharing some Instagram tips with you all.